the book of Jubilees chapters 7 and 8 with precepts to Genesis chapter 9 verses 18 through 27 and Genesis chapter 10 in addition to the book of Asher chapter 7 verses 1 through 22 and the book of Asher chapter 10 chapter 7 in the book of Jubilees in the seventh week in the first year 1370 a.m. and on Monday thereof in this Jubilee Noah planted vines on the mountain on which the ark had rested named Lubar, one of the Ararat mountains, and they produced fruit in the fourth year, 1320 a.m. And he guarded their fruit and gathered it in this year in the seventh month. And he made wine therefrom and put it into a vessel and kept it until the fifth year, 1321 a.m., until the first day of the new moon of the first month. And he celebrated with joy the day of this feast, and he made a burnt up sacrifice unto El Elohi Ahai, our mighty God, one young ox and one ram and seven sheep, each a year old, and a kid of the goats, that he might make atonement thereby for himself and his sons. And he prepared the kid first, and placed some of its blood on the flesh that was on the altar which he had made, and all the fat he laid on the altar where he made the burnt sacrifice, and the ox and the ram and the sheep, and he laid all their flesh upon the altar. And he placed all their offering mingled with oil upon it, and afterwards he sprinkled wine on the fire which he had previously made on the altar. And he placed incense on the altar, and caused the sweet Savior to ascend acceptable before El Elohiahiah. And he rejoiced and drank of this wine, and he and his children with joy. And it was evening, and he went into his tent, and being drunken, he lay down and slept, and was uncovered in his tent as he slept. And Ham saw Noah his father naked, and went forth, and told his two brethren without. And Shem took his garment, and arose, and he japhed, and they placed the garment on their shoulders, and went backward, and covered the shame of their father, and their faces were backward. And Noah awoke from his sleep, and knew all that his younger son had done unto him. And he cursed his son, and said, Cursed be Canaan, and enslaved servant shall be unto his brethren. And he blessed Shem, and said, Blessed be Ahiah El Elohi of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. El Elohi Ahiah shall enlarge Japheth, and El Elohi Ahiah shall dwell in the dwelling of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Ham knew that his father had cursed his younger son, and he was displeased that he had cursed his son. And he parted from his father, and he and his sons with him, Cush and Mizram, and Put and Canaan. And he built for himself a city, and called its name after the name of his wife, Neatlatama, UK. Precept to that, Genesis chapter 9, verses 18 through 27. Precept and witness scripture to book of Jubilees, chapter 7, 9 through 13. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be an husbandman, and a, he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine, and he was drunk, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment, and laid it upon both their shoulders, and went backward, and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine, and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be Ahiah El Elohi of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Elohim Ahiah shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. Continuing back to the book of Jubilees, chapter 7, verses 14 through 19. And Japheth saw it, and became envious of his brother, and he too built for himself a city. And he called his name after the name of his wife, Adatanesis. And Shem dwelt with his father Noah, and he built a city close to his father on the mountain. And he too called his name after the name of his wife, Sadat Quatalabab. And behold, these three cities are near Mount Lubar, Sadat Quatalabab, fronting the mountain, 
on its east and not a Tama, UK of the south at that time SS toward the west and these are the sons of Shem Elam and Ashur and Apakshad the son was born two years after the flood and Lud and Aram the sons of JP Gomer and Magog and Madiah and Javan Tubal and Meshach and Tyrus these are the sons of Noah the precept to that is to the sons of Noah in King James Version Bible chapter 10 Genesis chapter 10 now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto these were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madiah, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshach, and Tyrus. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Riphath, and Togama, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanin. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided into the lands every one after their, his tongue, after their families and their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizram, and Put, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Seba, Havilah, and Tapta, Septa, and Raama, and Septacha, and the sons of Raama, Sheba, and Dedan, and Cush begat Nimrod, and he began to be a mighty one in the earth, he was a mighty hunter before El Elohiahiah, wherefore it is said, Even as Nimrod the mighty hunter before El Elohiahiah, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kalnea, in the land of Shinar. Out of the land went forth Ashar, and built Nineveh, and the city Rehoboth, and Kala, and Risan between Nineveh and Kala. The same is a great city. And Mitzrayim begat Ludim, and Ananamim, and Lehabim, and Naphtahabim, and Pathrusim, and Kasluhim, out of whom came the Philistim, and Kaphtorim, and Canaan begat Sadan, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites, and the Gergesites, and the Hevites, and the Archite, and the Sinites. And the Orvidite, and the Semirite, and the Hamathite, and afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sadan, as thou comest to Gerar, unto Gaza, as thou goest unto Sodom, and Gomorrah, and Adma, and Zeboam, even unto Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, and their tongues, and their countries, and in their nations. Unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Aphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash. And Aphaxad begat Salah, and Salah begat Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one son was Peleg, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begat Amadad, and Shelaf, and Hazaramavat, and Jura, and Hadaram, and Azal, and Dikla, and Abal, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Aphir, and Havila, and Jobab, and these were the sons of Joktan. And their dwellings was from Mesha, as thou goest into Sephor. Amount of the east. These are the sons of Shem after their families, after their tongues, in the lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah after their generations in their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Another witness to the sons of Noah and their generations, the book of Asher, chapter 7, verses 1 through 22. The book of Asher, chapter 7. And these are the names of the sons of Noah, Japheth, Ham, and Shem, and children were born to them after the flood for they had taken wives before the flood these are the sons of japheth gomer magog madia javan tubal meshach and tyrus seven sons and the sons of gomer were askenaz rephath and tagama and the sons of magog were elichephna and labal and the children of madia were akon zelo shazani and lot and the sons of Javan, and Elisha, Tarshish, Shittim, and Dudanim. And the sons of Tubal were Arafi, Kased, and Ta'ari. And the sons of Meshach were Dedan, Zaran, and Shabashni. 
and the sons of Tyrus were Benab, Gera, Lepirion, and Gilak. These are the sons of Japheth according to the families, and their numbers in those days were about 460 men. And these are the sons of Ham, Cush, Mitzram, Phut, and Canaan, four sons. And the sons of Cush were Sheba, Havalia, Sapta, Raama, and Satasha. And the sons of Raama were Sheba and Dedan. And the sons of Mitzram were Lud, Anon, and Pathros, and Chesloth, and Chephtor. And the sons of Phut were Gibal, Hadan, Bina, and Adan. And the sons of Canaan were Zidon, Heth, Amori, Geshgashi, Havi, Arki, Sene, Aradi, Zamodi, and Chamati. And these are the sons of Ham according to their families, and the numbers in those days were about 730 men. And these are the sons of Shem, Alam, Ashur, Apak, Shad, Lud, and Aram, five sons. And the sons of Elam were Shusan, Shushan, Makul and Horman, and the sons of Asher were Myrus and Mokil, and the sons of Apaksha were Shalak, Anar, Ashkol, and the sons of Lud were Pethor and Bizayan, and the sons of Aram were Uz, Chol, Gather, and Mash. These are the sons of Shem according to their families, and their numbers in those days were about three hundred men. These are the generations of Shem. Shem begat Apaksha, and Apaksha begat Shalak. And Shalak begat Eber, and to Eber were born two children. The name of one were Peleg, for in his days the son of men were divided, and in the latter days the earth was divided. And the name of the second son were Yoktan, meaning that in his days the lives of the sons of men were diminished and lessened. These are the sons of Yoktan, uh, Madad, Shelaf, Chazamuvath, Yurak, Hadaram, Ozel, Dekla, Obal, Abemiel, Sheba, Ophir, Havalia, and Jobab. All these are the sons of Yotan. And Pelech his brother begat Yin, and Yin begat Sura, Siru, and Siru begat Nahor, and Nahor begat Terah, and Terah was thirty eight years old, and he begat Haran and Nahor. And when Nimrod was forty years old, at that time there was a war between his brethren and the children of Japheth, so that they were in the power of their enemies. Now continuing on back to the book of Jubilees, chapter 7, verses 20 to 39. And in the 28th Jubilee, 1324 through 1372 a.m., and on Monday, Noah began to enjoin upon his sons, sons, the ordinances and commandments and all the judgments that he knew, and he exhorted his sons to observe righteousness and to cover the shame of their flesh, and to bless their Creator, El Elohiahiah, and honor father and mother, and love their neighbor and guard their souls from fornication and uncleanness and all iniquity. For owing to these three things came the flood upon the earth, namely owing to the fornication wherein the watchers against the law of their ordinances went a whoring after the daughters of men, and took themselves wives of all which they chose, and they made the beginning of the uncleanness, and they begat sons of Nephadim, and they were all unlike, and they devoured one another, and the giants slew the Nephils, and the Nephils slew the Eljo, and the Eljo mankind, and one man another. And every one sold himself to work iniquity, and to shed much blood. And the earth was filled with iniquity. And after this they sinned against the beast and the birds, and all that moves and walks on the earth. And much blood was shed on the earth. And every imagination and desire of men imagined vanity and evil continually. And El Elohim destroyed everything from off the face of the earth because of the wickedness of their deeds. And because of the blood which they had shed in the midst of the earth, he destroyed everything. And we were left, I and you, my sons, and everything that entered with us into the ark. And behold, I see your works before me, that you do not walk in righteousness. For in the path of destruction you have begun to walk, and you are parting one from another, and you are envious one of another. And so it comes that you are not in harmony, my sons each with his brother. This is Noah talking to his sons. For I see and behold the demons have begun their seduction and against you and against your children. And now I fear on your behalf that after my death 
you will shed the blood of men upon the earth, and that you too will be destroyed from the face of the earth. For whoso sheddeth man's blood, and whoso eateth the blood of any flesh, shall all be destroyed from the earth. And there shall not be left any man that eateth blood, or that sheddeth the blood of man on the earth. Nor shall there be left to him any seed or descendants living under heaven. For into Sheol shall they go, and into the place of condemnation shall they descend, and into the darkness of the deep shall they all be removed by a violent death. They shall be no, there shall be no blood seen upon you of all the blood there shall be all the days in which you have killed any beast or cattle or whatever flies upon the earth, and work you a good work to your souls by covering that which has been shed on the face of the earth. And you shall not be like him who eats with blood, but guard yourselves that none may eat blood before you. Cover the blood, for thus have I been commanded to testify to you and your children, together with all flesh. And suffer not the soul to be eaten with the flesh, that your blood, which is your life, may not be required at the hand of any flesh that sheds it on the earth. For the earth will not be clean from the blood which has been shed upon it for only through the blood of him that shed it will the earth be purified throughout all its generations and now my children hearken work judgment and righteousness that you may be planted in righteousness over the face of the whole earth and your glory lifted up before my el elohi who saved me from the waters of the flood and behold, you will go and build for yourself cities, and plant in them all the plants that are upon the earth, and moreover all fruit-bearing trees. For three years the fruit of everything that is eaten will not be gathered, and in the fourth year its, its fruit will be accounted holy, and they will offer the first fruits acceptable before the Most High, El Elohi Ahia, who created heaven and earth and all things. Let them offer in abundance the first of the wine oil as first fruits of the altar of Ahiah, who receives it, and what is left, let the servants of the house of El Elohi Ahiah eat before the altar which receives it. And in the fifth year make you the release, so that you release it in righteousness and uprightness, and you shall be righteous, and all that you plant shall prosper. But thus did Enoch, the father of your father, command Methuselah his son, and Methuselah his son Lamech, and Lamech command me all the things which his fathers commanded him. And I also will give you commandment, my son, as Enoch commanded his sons in the first jubilees. While still living, the seventh in his generation, he commanded and testified to his son, and to his son's sons, until the day of his death. The Book of Jubilees, Chapter 8 in the twenty-ninth jubilee, in the first week, thirteen seventy-three a.m., ain't no Monday, in the beginning thereof, Orpakshad took to himself a wife, and her name was Rusa Eja, the daughter of Suzanne, the daughter of Elam, and she bare him a son in the third year, in the week, thirteen seventy-five a.m., and he called his name Canaan, Canaan, and the son grew, and his father taught him writing, and he went to seek for himself a place where he might seize for himself a city. And he found a writing which former generations had carved on the rock, and he read what there was thereon, and he transcribed it and sent owing to it, for it contained the teaching of the watchers in accordance with which they used to observe the omens of the sun and moon and stars and all the signs of heaven. And he wrote it down and said nothing regarding it, for he was afraid to speak to Noah about it, lest he should be angry with him on account of it. And in the thirtieth jubilee, 1429 a.m., in the second week, in the first year thereof, he took to himself a wife, and her name was Melchah, the daughter of Medei, the son of Japheth. And in the fourth year, 1432 a.m., he begat a son and called his name Shelah, for he said, Truly I have been sent, and in the fourth year he was born. And Shelah grew up and took to himself a wife, and her name was Muak, the daughter of Kesed, his father's brother, in the one and thirtieth jubilee in the fifth week, in the first year of 1499 a.m. thereof. 
And she bare him a son in the fifth year, 1503 a.m. thereof, and he called his name Eber. And he took unto himself a wife, and her name was Asurad, the daughter of Nebrod, in the thirty-second jubilee, in the seventh week, in the third year thereof, 1564 a.m. And in the sixth year, 1567 a.m. thereof, she bare him a son, and he called his name Peleg. For in the days when he was born, the children of Noah began to divide the earth amongst themselves. For this reason he called his name Peleg. And they divided it secretly among themselves and told it to Noah. And it came to pass in the beginning of the 33rd Jubilee, 1569 a.m., that they divided the earth into three parts for Shem and Ham and Japheth, according to the inheritance of each in the first year in the first week, when one of us who had been sent was with them. And he called his sons, and they drew nigh to him and their children, and he divided the earth into the lots, which his three sons were to take in possession. And they re reached forth their hands and took the writings out of the bosom of Noah and their father. And there came forth on the writing as Shem's lot, the middle of the earth, which he should take as an inheritance for himself and for his sons, for the generations of eternity, from the middle of the mountain range of Rapha, from the mouth of the water, from the river Tina, and his portion goes toward the west through the midst of the river, and it extends till it reaches the water of the abysses, out of which this river goes forth, and pours its water into the sea Mead, and this river flows into the great sea, and all that is toward the north is Japheth's, and all that is toward the south belongs to Shem. And it extends till it reaches Caruso, this is in the bosom of the tongue which looks toward the south, and his portion extends along the great sea, and it extends in a straight line till it reaches the west of the tongue which looks toward the south. For this sea is named the tongue of the Egyptian sea, and it turns from here toward the south, towards the mouth of the great sea, on the shore of its waters, and it extends to the west to Afra, and it extends till it reaches the waters of the river Gion, and to the south of the waters of Gion, to the banks of the river. And it extends toward the east till it reaches the Garden of Eden, to the south thereof, to the south and from the east of the whole land of Eden, and of the whole east. It turns to the east and proceeds till it reaches the east of the mountain named Rapha, and it descends to the banks of the mouth of the river Tina. This portion came forth by Lot for Shem and his sons, that they shall possess it forever and to his generations forevermore. And Noah rejoiced that this portion came forth for Shem and for his sons, and he remembered all that he had spoken with his mouth in the prophecy he had said. Blessed be Ahiah, El Elohi of Shem, and may Ahiah dwell in the dwelling of Shem. And he, Noah, knew that the Garden of Eden is the Holy of Holies, and the dwelling of Ahiah, El Elohi, and Mount Sinai, the center of the desert, and Mount Zion, the center of the navel of the earth. These three were created as holy places facing each other, and he blessed the El Elohi of gods who had put the word of Ahiah into his mouth and Ahiah forevermore. And he knew that a blessed portion and a blessing had come to Shem and his sons and to the generations forever, the whole land of Eden and the whole land of the Red Sea, and the whole land of the east and India and on the Red Sea and the mountains thereof and all the land of Bashan and all the land of Lebanon, and the islands of Kaftur, and all the mountains of Sinar, and Arama, Amarana, and the mountains of Ashur in the north, and all the land of Elam, and Ashur, and Babel, and Susanna, and Medea, and all the mountains of Ariad, and all the regions beyond the sea, which is beyond the mountains of Ashur, toward the north, a blessed and spacious land, and all that is in it is very good and there came out of the lot for shem the middle of the earth which he and his children should have as an inheritance for the generations until eternity for the middle of the mountain rafa from 
the exit of the water of the river Tina, and his portion goes toward the west through the midst of this river, and they go until they approach to the abyss of the waters out of which comes this river, and the river empties and pours its waters into the sea Miad, Persian Gulf, and this river goes into the great sea, Arabian Sea. All that is toward the north of this is Japhes, and all that is to the direction of the south is Shems. And it reaches until it comes to Carousel, which is in the bosom of the tongue, Sinai Peninsula, which looks toward the south. And his portion reaches into the great sea, Mediterranean Sea, and reaches straight until it approaches the west of the tongue, which looks toward the south. For the sea is called the tongue of the Egyptian Sea, the Red Sea. Jubilees chapter 8, verses 10 through 12. There, and it turns from there toward the south, toward the mouth of the great sea, Arabian Sea, in the shore of the waters, and proceed toward Arabian and Ophra, and it proceeds until it reaches to the waters of the river Gion, the Nile, along the shore of this same river. Chapter, Ju chapter 8, verse 13 of the Jubilees. This means east of the river Nile to include the Red Sea going south to the Gulf of Aden is Aden and modernization of this word Eden. And they proceed toward the north until it approaches the Garden of Eden and toward the south thereof to the south and from the east of the whole land of Eden and toward the whole east and it turns to the east and proceeds until it approaches toward the east of the hills whose name is Rapha and it descends toward the border of the outlet of the water of the river Tina. Jubilees chapter 8 verse 14. Now continuing back to the book of Jubilees chapter 8 verses 22 to 24 Ham's land. And for Ham came forth the second portion beyond Gihon toward the south to the right of the garden and it extends toward the south and it extends to all the mountains of fire and it extends toward the west to the sea of Atel and it extends toward the west till it reaches the sea of Mauk, that sea into which everything which is not destroyed descends. And it goes forth toward the north to the limits of Gadir and it goes forth to the coast of the waters of the sea to the waters of the great sea till it draws near to the river Gion and goes along the river of Gihon till it reaches the right of the Garden of Eden. And this is the land which came forth for Ham as a portion which he was to occupy forever for himself and his sons and to the generations forever. And for Ham came out as the second portion beyond Gihon, now toward the south to the right of the garden and it proceeds to the, all the fire mountain Africa and goes toward the west to the sea of Atil, the Atlantic Ocean and goes west until it reaches the sea of Mauk, probably the Atlantic Ocean south of the equator and west of Angolia, Africa the one of which everything descends that is destroyed Cape of Good Hope, Africa and it proceeds to the north to the shore of Gadil and goes to the west of the waters of the sea until it approaches the river Gion. And the river Gion goes until it approaches to the right of the Garden of Eden. And this land is the land which came forth for him as a portion he shall retain for himself and the children of his generations forever. Jubilees chapters 8. 20 through 21. Now continuing on to the book of Jubilees, chapter 8, verses 25 through 30. And for Japheth came forth the third portion beyond the river Tina to the north of the outflow of its waters, and it extends northeasterly to the whole region of Gog, and to all the country east thereof. And it extends northerly to the north, and it extends to the mountains of Kelt, toward the north, and toward the sea of Mauk. And it goes forth to the east of Gadir as far as the region of the waters of the sea. And it extends until it approaches the west of Farah, and it returns toward Afarag, and it extends easterly to the river to the waters of the sea of Miad, and it extends to the region of the river Tina in a northerly easterly direction until it approaches the boundary of its waters toward the mountain Rafa, and it turns round toward the north. 
This is the land which came forth for Japheth and his sons as the portion of his inheritance, which he should possess for himself and his sons for their generations forever, five great islands and a great land in the north, but it is cold, and the land of Ham is hot, and the land of Shem is neither hot nor cold, but it is of blended cold and hot. The book of Asher, chapter 10, the descendants of Noah scattered over the whole earth to build themselves cities. The book of Asher, chapter 10. And Peleg the son of Eber died in those days in the 48th year of the life of Abram, son of Terah. And all the days of Peleg were 239 years. And when El Elohim had scattered the sons of men on the account of their sin at the tower, Tower of Babel, Behold, they spread forth into many divisions, and all the sons of men were dispersed into the four corners of the earth. <coughs> Excuse me. And all the families became each according to its language, its land, or its city. And the sons of men built many cities according to their families in all the places where they went, and throughout the earth where El Elohim had scattered them. And some of them built cities in places from which they were afterward extirpated, and they called these cities after their own names, or the names of their children, or after their particular occurrences. And the sons of Japheth, the son of Noah, went and built themselves cities in the places where they were scattered, and they called all their cities after the names of the sons of Japheth were divided upon the face of the earth into many divisions and languages. And these are the sons of Japheth according to the, their families, Gomer, Magog, Media, Javan, Tubal, Meshach, and Tyrus. These are the children of Japheth according to their generations. And the children of Gomer according to their cities were the Fra Francum, who dwelt in the land of Franza, by the river Franza, by the river Sena, and the children of Rephath, or the Bortonian, who dwelt in the land of Bortonia by the river Leda, which empties into the water in the great sea Gihon, that is Oceanus, and the children of Togarama, or ten families, and these are their names Bazar, Porzunak, Bogar, Elakinum, Ragbib, Torki, Bid, Zibuk. Angal and Tolmaz, all these spread and rested in the north and built themselves cities. And they called their cities after their own names, those are they who abide by the rivers Hel Hiltla and Atalak until this day. But the families of Angoli, Bolgar, and Porzunak, they dwelt by the great river Dun Dubni, and the names of their cities are also according to their own names. And the children of Javan, or the Javanim, who dwelt in the land of Magdonia, and the children of Mediara, or the Orelum, that dwelt in the land of Kursum, and the children of Tubal, or those that dwelt in the land of Tuscana by the river Pash Pashia. And the children of Meshach, or the Shabashni, and the children of Tyrus and Rushash, Cushni and Angolis, all these went and built themselves cities. Those are the cities that are situated by the sea Jabas, by the river Kura, which empties into itself in the river Tragan. And the children of Elisha, or the Al Almanian, and they also went and built themselves cities. Those are the cities situated between the mountains of Job and Shabathmo. And of them were the people of Lombardy, who dwelt opposite the mountains of Job and Shabathmo. And they conquered the land of Atalia, which is probably Italy now, and remained there unto this day. And the children of Shittim, or the Roman, who dwell in the valley of Canopia by the river Tibera, and the children of the Dodomen, or those who dwell in the cities of the Sea Gihon in the land of Bordna. These are the families of the children of Japheth, according to their cities, languages, when they were scattered after the tower, and they call their cities after their names and occurrences, and these are the names of all their cities, according to their families, which they built in those days after the tower. 
And the children of Ham were Cush, Mitzram, Put, and Canaan, according to their all these went and built themselves cities as they found fit places for them, and they called their cities after the names of their fathers Cush, Mitzram, Put, and Canaan, and the children of Mitzram, or the Ludim, and Anamim, and Lahabim, and Nephatachim, and Pathrasim, and Kaslachim, and Kafturim, seven families. All these dwell by the river Sihor, that is the book of Egypt. And they built themselves cities and called them after their own names. And the children of Pathros and Kaslach intermarried together. And from them went forth the Pelishtim and Azathim and the Gurgrim and the Githim and the Ekronim in all five families. Excuse me. These also built themselves cities, and they called their cities after the names of their fathers until this day. And the children of Canaan also built themselves cities, and they called their cities after the names eleven cities, and others without number. And four men from the families of Ham went to the land of the plain. These are the names of the four men, Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboiim. And these men built themselves four cities in the land of the plain, and they called the names of their cities after their own names. And they and their children and all belonging to them dwelt in those cities, and they were fruitful and multiplied greatly and dwelt peacefully. And Seir, the son of Hur, son of Hivi, son of Canaan, went and found a valley opposite to Mount Paran, and he built a city there, and he and his seven sons and his household dwelt there and he called the city which he built Seir, according to his name that is the land of Seir unto this day, where Esau and Edom dwell. These are the families of the children of Ham according to their languages and cities, when they were scattered to their countries after the Tower of Babel. And some of the children of Shem, son of Noah, father of all the children of Eber, also went and built themselves cities in the places wherein they were scattered, and they called their cities after their names. And the sons of Shem were Elam, Ashur, Apakshad, Lud, and Aram, and they built themselves cities, and called the names of all their cities after their names. And Ashur, son of Shem, and his children, and the household went forth at that time a very large body of them, and they went to a distant land that they found, and they met with a very extensive valley in the land that they went. To, and they built themselves four cities, and they called them after their own names and occurrences. And these are the names of the cities which the children of Ashur built, Nineveh, Resin, Kalak, and Rehabathar. And the children of Ashur dwelt there until this day. And the children of Aram also went and built themselves a city, and they called the name of the city Uz, after the eldest brother, and they dwelt therein, that is, the land of Uz, until this day. And in the second year after the tower, a man from the house of Ashur, whose name was Bela, went from the land of Nineveh to sojourn with his household wherever he could find a place. And they came unto opposite the city of the plain against Sodom, and they dwelt there. And the man rose up and built there a small city and called the name Bela after his name, that is the land of Zor, unto this day. And these are the families of the children of Shem, according to their languages, cities, and after they were scattered upon the earth, after the tower of Babel. And every kingdom, city, and family of the families of the children of Noah built themselves many cities after this. And they established governments in all their cities in order to be regulated by their orders. So did all the families of the children of Noah forever. And thank you for listening. We're going to stop at that. We will continue with the book of jubilees chapter 9 tomorrow thank you for listening